something we've been talking about for several years now, but it actually now is looking good is the oil mill cleanup. Tell me where we are on that. Uh, yeah, things are moving along uh, just like we're, we'd planned, and uh, Camden Properties, have, they've taken ownership of it, so they're in there uh, cleaning up what's above ground, um, and they've got most of it out of there now. Uh, so that's progressing really well, looks, looks looking good. Um, and then from, from there, the same company, Camden Properties, is also developing the old cotton mill down the street on what we call the Mill Hill, as you're, you know about. But, uh, that was used to be Shaney Brothers, Shaney Brothers um, Cotton Mill, and that's going to be apartments and so on, and they're doing a lot of work on it. It's really getting going now, so it won't be too long you'll see that come to fruition down there. So that whole area, is going, the looks of it's going to change a whole lot, for, and uh, definitely for the better. They yep. seem to be pretty excited about moving quickly on that. I've talked to them. Yeah, as far as uh, yeah, the, the oil mill and, and Cheney, now that, you know, it, the thing about the oil mill, yes, they're moving quickly on getting this park cleaned up. Uh, it, it will be some time before you see anything really go there. Uh, probably what you'll see there for a while be just a grassy field or something like that because... Uh, it'd be a nice change. Yeah, it'd be a nice change. Uh, they've submitted a plan, and of course we had a grant that you may or may not know about to for a small area plan. So we've got grant money to pay for that and uh, we'll get a lot of citizen input during that time and, and see what everybody really thinks they want to see in that area down there. And then um, it'll take some time for the rest of the testing that's got to be done due to the hazardous nature of the, of the things that were stored there over the years and things like that. They'll have to do a lot of testing for what's under the ground um, and so on. And then um, you know clean that up if necessary that kind of thing. It's really going to expand downtown though. Really going to expand downtown. We feel like that's probably the logical progression for downtown is in that direction down Main Street. So I think uh, it's, it's going to extend downtown. I think it'll be a real positive change down that way. And we've got you know some other developments on down that direction. We have the uh, Tiff District which is over on Village Hills which is in that direction. Also Morton Farm. What's the latest on the Tiff District? Well, it's moving forward. We, you know, uh, issuing the bonds and so on, ready to get started on the infrastructure changes and improvements down there. That's the first phase of it, really. We got to get in there and fix the roads because the roads are really terrible back in there, and the water, the sewer, all that's got all kind of problems. And uh, so we got to go in there and get that uh, improved and get it where it needs to be by, you know, improve it to where they can start building in there. So uh, once they start building in there, and then uh, it, you'll see a, a, a lot of changes at that point. So the faster they build, the quicker it'll grow in there. Is that the way that works? Fa yeah, that's correct. And then, of course, the faster the money comes back. So once that starts happening, then uh, the tax money will start funding those bonds, the payment on those bonds, and all that will get paid off eventually. And then it'll be a positive tax uh, uh, flow out of it, you know, for us and the county and the school district because we're, we're all involved in it. And we just talked about it just a second ago, but that Shaney Mill is going to be some nice housing down there, and that whole little district is supposed to, it's planned and it's going to look the same, and everything's going to be kind of a nice little area, right? Right, yeah, and there's going to be some improvements there uh, with the infrastructure over there, too, as part of it. We're spending money for that as well, um, and Camden Properties is uh, spending a lot of money down there, you know, bringing it up and improving it. So, yeah, it's going to be a huge, huge difference over there. You're going to see all that whole, that whole side of town is going to look a lot nicer, I think. And meanwhile, on the other side of town, you're about to finish the Queen Street project. Remind everybody what y'all did over there. Well, yeah, it's just a, a revitalization of that area, basically. Uh, if you look over there, we put in new sidewalks down there, new lighting, um, and uh, new, a lot of new infrastructure changes in there, and uh, just improving that whole area to, to bring it up. And uh, it's going to look great. I mean, it's, it's already looking great. Uh, hopefully uh, we'll be finished with it here pretty soon. And you said there's going to be some more lighting upgrades around town. More lighting, yeah, and a lot of it's gone in already. If you walk around town at night, you'll see that a lot of the lighting has gone in. Uh, we hope to get it all in soon. But uh, we, we're, we have a lot of parking up here that is away from the green a little bit, you know, maybe a block or two away. And we want that to be utilized to improve the parking situation here around the green, uh, but you have to walk to that. It's not a long walk or anything, but we want it to be lighted well and and to be safe for people, you know, to, to walk back and forth so they feel safe walking there. So that's part of the lighting. The other part of the, the lighting is part of the parking plan. The other part is identifying where you can park 
So we have a, a wayfinding project going right now, which is part of our strategic plan that we just had, um, that we spent a lot of time uh, working on. But uh, we want to identify where you can park and where things are in general, you know. So we, we, we hope to have a lot of signage up here so you won't have to guess about where you can go park because a lot of times folks come in here and they think all the parking we have is right here on Exchange Street, which is just not true. There's a lot of parking around here, but you don't always know where it is. And a lot of people park there anyway. But we want to make sure it's marked so they know they can park there. And uh, we've got a parking lot right across from where you and I are talking right now that, I, um, you know, I, I, a lot of people don't have a clue it's even there. It's, uh, down in kind of a hole there behind those buildings on the other side of uh, Mechanic Street over there. And uh, it's next to the alteration shop down in there and the antique shop. But well, there's a lot of parking spaces there you can go park in, but nobody really knows it's there. So we want to identify those areas just to relieve some of the pressure from the parking issues here. And y'all are in somewhat enviable position in that all your downtown storefronts seem to be full. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's great. Uh, a, lot, a lot of places like to have that, you know, even bigger cities around us. So, you know, go to Anderson, and Anderson's a great town, but, uh, you know, they've got a lot of empty buildings, and uh, we're happy to have ours full here for the most part. Uh, you know, we, we've done really well, and uh, it's a real blessing to us to have, have that. And there seems to be a lot of foot traffic day and night. We were just talking about it. it used to be weekends now, day and night. There seems to be always people out here parked and going into eating and doing stuff. Right, yeah, well, um, when we uh, did our downtown master plan and started making changes up here, things started improving. And then, you know, because we did a lot of that, I think it's one of the main reasons we attracted some new businesses like Blue Heron and Rains and so on and uh, Brooklyn Pizza and, and uh, Swamp Fox and, you know, all these other retail stores we have here, the art gallery and so on. Um, so it's brought a lot of people in here and it's become more of a destination. Used to, I said, you know, you'd see it busy here on Saturday night or Friday night. Now it's every night. You come by here on any night, and there's a lot of people up here on, on the green. So it's really become a destination. It's, and it's a great place to just hang out. You know, it's nice, and the green's nice. You can walk, walk around. We have made some improvements on the green, too. We've got new swings over there that people can enjoy. And a lot of people, I saw when I walked up when you were here, there was folks out there on those. And, uh, you know, so it's just a great place to come hang out. Any other projects you and council have identified that we haven't talked about so far? So what we're, we're doing soon is we're going to have a road realignment done with Westinghouse Road and Swaney uh, over there on 76. Um, we just acquired a $1.4 million grant from ACTC. Uh, that was about three weeks ago when we got that money. Um, so that project is going forward. and. What it's going to do, we hope, is keep a lot of the traffic off of 76 <clears throat> because you'll be able to go from that side of town up Westinghouse and straight across on around into the shopping center over there where Food Line and all that stuff is and you won't have to get on 76. And come in the other direction from 187, which is where you see a lot of the new growth out there and a lot of the cars, you know, they can come up Dalton Road, they can get on Swaney, go straight into the shopping center, never get on 76. So uh, we think it's going to relieve a lot of the congestion up there. And part of the plan is to have a crosswalk. You know, and there's some people have, uh, uh, there's mixed feelings about the crosswalk. Uh, but the, the, in my opinion, um, people are crossing 76 now anyway without a crosswalk. So it'll make it safer for them, for the ones that want to go back and forth. Because a lot of people still that don't have cars and they live in some of the uh, residential areas around here, you know, they have to get over there to, to get their groceries, that's the only place they've got to go and things like that. So they're forced to have to try to get across that busy highway. So I think the, having the crosswalk will be a, something that'll make it a little safer for them and uh, connects both sides of that road in both areas. So uh, that's, I think, will be a good thing. So it won't be long and then, uh, you know, we, we're probably still going to see some more businesses come in out there too, some restaurants and things. There's several of those in the works that we know about. Um, that I think you're gonna see even more of that come in out there. So there'll be more places for people to go shop and eat and that kind of thing on 76. And we're getting really close now to maybe the biggest event of the year. Uh, oh yeah. Jubilee, right. Spring Jubilee. Spring Jubilee, yeah. That's definitely the biggest event of the year. And it'll be the first weekend here in April, which is not this weekend, but next weekend. And uh, that's gonna be a great time as always. We'll have a lot of uh, vendors out here and they're all uh, handmade 
products that they uh, that they present, uh, and uh, that's one of the biggest part, one of the best things about it, in my opinion, because uh, it's stuff that you can't get anywhere else. So it's really unique stuff. You're not going to see anybody selling Genzu knives or anything like that. So uh, it'll be uh, it'll be a good time, and we'll have a lot of good food, and of course our our uh, businesses right around us here, our restaurants, our retail stores. You know, you gotta, you've got a, a, the best of everything here because you can shop in those places, you can eat in those places. You've got all these vendors out here. We've got music. We'll have live music here from some of our local artists and so on. Um, it's just a fun time. It's two days. Uh, it starts on Saturday, and it goes all day on Saturday, and then it, it goes on Sunday, too, and then it wraps up. But everybody loves it. It's, it's a fun time every year. Have you talked to the committee? I mean, are, are the vendors coming back from pre-COVID numbers? Is it bouncing back? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, well, in fact, Fall Festival, I think, is a pretty good indicator of it. Um, and uh, we had, uh, we were packed out here with it. So we changed it around a little bit. As you may know, uh, we let them set up in the streets now. It used to be they set up on the green, but I think that's a lot better. They like it a lot better. We can get more of them in here. And it leaves the green open for the kids to come and and, and uh, to get out there and play. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it works out good for us here, yeah. And for people who are not familiar with it, it's, it's a, one of the most recognizable spring festivals on East Coast, is that right? That's, that's, that's a fact, and uh, the reason is, it's such a good event. Um, you know, it's quality stuff. You know, the, the goods you see here are quality and they're handmade, and uh, it's just, again, stuff you're not gonna see anywhere else. So that's one of the things that makes it, makes it what it is. And people who come on the Sunday could stick around Jenkins' house is having an open house over there trying to raise fun funds for it on the edge of town. That's right, and that's another thing. Uh, you know, the Historic Foundation um, is doing a great job. Uh, Powell Hickman and John and those guys over there are doing a great job with that project and uh, have managed to raise money to, to, to get it renovated, and they're, it's coming along great. It looks great. And uh, so we encourage everybody to get here, maybe stop by and take a look at it. It's, uh, it's really a great project. What other events do y'all have coming up before summer gets here? Um, well, we'll probably start having music on the green again at some point, so that'll be one thing. Um, and that's always great. So you'll be able to come up and, and hear some good music, some bands and some things like that. Yeah, Greg, so um, I think uh, one thing I'd like to say before we, before we uh, end up here is if you haven't been to Pendleton in a while, come to Pendleton. You'd be amazed at how it's changed and for the good. Um, I, it's just a great place to come to and hang out, and uh, we love to see you here. So uh, please, uh, please come check us out. This is a great little town here.